Hey everyone, good morning. It's Coffee with Will. I hope everyone is having a productive, healthy, vibrant morning. And I'm going to share this with a couple of my groups, so bear with me. These are fun talks that I like to bring to you from time to time, to my fans, to my friends, things that I'm thinking about in my life that I want to share with you, things that I'm working on in my life and also like to bring to light uh, things I'm doing in the community. If you want to be a part of any of those things, like Strings Attached Cares, there's a link in here to make a donation to Strings Attached Cares. Or you can go to stringsattachedcares.org to see the work that we're doing in the community. I'm here in this beautiful outdoor spot where I get to work. Notice that phrase, where I get to work, not where I have to work. I'm going to talk about that in a minute here. Bear with me while I share. And while you're just tuning this in, let me know where you're watching this from. What part of the world? What are you doing right now? What are you having for lunch? What are you having for dinner? If it's somewhere else in the world. What music have you listened to by Strings Attached, Will Taylor, or otherwise? What are some of the artists that you love that inspire you? Some of the musical artists. I'm sharing this video. Here's something that, uh, so the title of this copy with Will is Being Somebody Else. Um, the past few months I've been working on and experimenting with ways to increase energy and to be just naturally joyful about life. And why would I want to do that? So that I can contribute to the world and, and be there for the people that are in my life as best I can, to be present. What's, what's the, the highest level of presence I can bring? That's what I'm experimenting with and trying to find out. In addition to my own joy and enjoying life and enjoying just being here as a human on the earth and having fun and having curiosity about it. So my experience is the healthier you feel, the more you're able to, to show up and be there and present. So that's why. Why would I want to share all this information? I'm about to go do a beautiful concert in the woods at Mary Seawright Park. Karen and I are gonna play acoustic music outside. It's our passion to bring acoustic music the way music has existed for the most of the time it's been on the face of the earth. So one of the things I was noticing in this process of seeing how far I could take this, how far I could take my health and joy, you know, giving up caffeine. This is actually dandy blend giving up alcohol for the most part. I've had one glass of wine in the past three months. Um, one of the things I was noticing is I've been following this great leader named Wim Hof online. And I started noticing that just through the videos, his spirit, his sort of like, let's go for it. Let's do this. Not don't hesitate. You know, the, the phrase, just do it. It's kind of, catching it's came it's really come over to me and i found myself sort of adopting and, and pretending that i'm wim hof you know i'm taking his energy on and bringing it to the table and i feel so much better it's one of my sort of techniques or hacks i was wondering if anybody else has tried this just just try adopting the spirit of somebody that you are inspired by and just just be that person for a moment and see see how that makes you feel and see where you can take that. Um, I definitely have felt that in being a musician. I uh, was practicing that, practicing that idea with sort of having the spirit of Jean-Luc Ponty in my head, you know? So I know that this is a, a careful line to walk. You know, you don't want to imitate, you don't want to be, you know, you want to be yourself at the same time, you know, that you're doing this. So, and you can't be any, anything else but yourself, but it's a fun exercise to play. And I'm going to try that today at the walk. I'm going to sort of channel that spirit. I can see him in my mind. I can visualize his enthusiasm, his physical, like, let's go for it. Let's do this. Let's get in that ice bath. Let's, let's do the breathing technique. You know, push away the negative thoughts. Let's go. The other thing I've been trying is a very simple adjustment. Using the words, I get to do this instead of I have to do this. And I've been finding... Anytime you, you feel like you don't want to be somewhere, but you don't want to be in the place that you want to be, if you can enter the words, I get to do this, 
it's pretty much usable in every situation where you're dealing with your ego and your mind not wanting you to be in that present moment. So I get to be out here in the front yard making this video for you, sharing the things that I love. I get to make music from time to time. I get to work on the computer. One of the things I've been really struggling with is the amount of screen time it takes to make a living in what I'm doing. And you might say, well, Will, then you should <laughs> look into something else. But in the meantime, in that transition period, you know, maybe eventually I don't want to be so much in front of the screen. I want to be out with this greenery. I want to be communicating with people. But the computer is a large part of how I create my art, which then I make a living from. So there's a great deal amount of time that I have to spend right now at this part of my life or the computer. So I've been trying to say, I get to be on the computer clicking and making new music for people to enjoy all over the world. Not, I have to get on the computer. There's a, a weight to that. So I was wondering if anybody has tried either of these techniques, sort of, the, you know, thinking of somebody that is so inspired, so outgoing, and in your mind, just becoming that person for a moment. How does that feel? How does that make your body feel? And then using the word, I get to do this instead of I have to go to work. Uh, another thing I've been trying is putting on music from my childhood, putting on art or some kind of music that is from a beautiful period in your life. Hopefully your childhood, there were some great periods in, of your childhood when you felt a sense of possibility, a sense of connection and joy. So go back and find the music that was present at that time and play that when you're in the car. Put some head headphones on and connect with that part of yourself. You'd be amazed how well that works. It's just unbelievable. So I'm having fun sort of collecting these things that are working for me and sharing them with you. There's a bunch of links over here for you to explore. If you're not on our email list, you can get a bunch of free music. Karen and I are releasing a Celtic album coming up soon. If you want to come to one of our strings in the woods, we're just a plane flight away in Austin, Texas. And from now until October, we're going to be going out, taking music, and really getting people to reconnect with their innate nature, their innate internal connection with nature and music. Music came from nature. And, it, and it's been around longer acoustically than it has in the last 100 years went through electric speakers. So we encourage people, we want people to come along and have life-changing experiences with acoustic music. Imagine me playing my violin, we're hiking down the trail and the birds are singing and the wind's blowing and your senses are coming alive and you're hearing music for the first time again, acoustically, out in nature, imagining what tribes would have been doing on a hunt with their instruments, imagining what pioneers would have been doing on their covered wagons, writing songs in, this, in these natural environments. So we're doing this all the time. We take small groups, usually 10, 15, sometimes as many as 60 people, but mainly about 10 people, because we want to keep it where people can get a chance to know each other and talk with us and hear instruments up close. How amazing is that? It reconnects with the joy inside of yourself. It's good for all ages. And I encourage you to come visit us in Austin. We've got many of these coming up, and all you have to do is sign up on the list to find out or go to Strings in the Woods on the Facebook page. And what I've been doing right now is channeling that feeling of Wim Hof. That's right, through Will Taylor. And I hope that it's inspired you to make a comment and to do something for yourself that's healthy and that brings out the natural joy that, that Wim Hof says that this is the natural state of our being, that nature intended. Nature intended us to be in harmony and joy, and I want you to believe it. And I want you to check out Wim Hof, scientifically proven, his methods. The Wim Hof breathing method. Belly, chest, head, oh, you drop it. So come see us at Strings in the Woods. Let me know if this inspired you in any way. Start with the shaking. <laughs> Let me know if this inspired you anyway, and if there's anything that has worked for you, I'd love to know, and my community would love to know. Take care. Reconnect with nature. Come see us at stringsinthewoods.com 
or stringsattachedcares.org for our, our outreach music here in Austin. And be somebody else today. Just be somebody else. Try it out. You'll be amazed. <laughs>